Today is 5 February 2019. This is the one year old domestication hair cat. Okay, she was sterilized about six months, six months ago. And after sterilization, according to the owner, the cat had a big swelling eh, at the area of sterilization. It was a very big swelling. This is after the operation eh, to remove the swelling. And uh, the vet who operated on her referred her to another place. And uh, this place did a blood test and an ultrasound. I will show the blood test first. Now, blood test did show a leukocytosis. That means it's increase in total white cell count with the neutrophils being high. So it's a neutrophilic leukocytosis indicating an infection. An, an infection, the cat had a fever and uh, so was not eating. Now we show the ultrasound after sound from the second vet who was referred to and the report was actually it's a check for the ventral part of the abdomen there's a big lump and uh, according to this report there's a muscular defect that means there's a hole ventral and abdominal wall or it's a hole 0 0.7 centimeter and then uh, according to the after sound the omental fats Herniated through this abnormal space, and so the diagnosis was ventral abdominal hernia with a omental fats, and these omental fats have the several areas of inflammation, and uh, that was the the diagnosis. So this referral vet. Wanted around 4,000 for surgery, so the owner really could not uh, do this, afford it. So somehow contacted us and Dr. Daniel did the surgery yesterday. This is day two, right? Yeah. The cat is eating now and has recovered from fever. So now we will see the, the, we'll see the pre-operation videos which is on, on the website. Now, just hold the cat first. I will just show pre-operation no, pre -operation video. The first one, no, just go up and down. Okay, the first one is before operation. Wait, the first one, as you can see, there is a big swelling there around the area of spay actually. Uh, and this big swelling is here, there, which was as said by the ultrasound grapher, ultrasound grapher that the mid ventral abdominal swelling, and there was a defect in the muscle area. So in this defect, the the omental fats has herniated out. So over the last six months, the fat must have got uh, infected and uh, so the owner went back to the first vet who didn't want to do anything and referred to the second vet. Yeah. So because of the cost of surgery of $4,000, so the owner contacted Papaya vets and Dr. Daniel did the surgery. As you can see, there are a lot of inflamed omental fat area in this midline. And then he did uh, remove the, the inflamed and infected omental fat, which is quite a large area, as you can see. Even if you look at here, come, it's quite a large area. Now, just show the you can see here it's a large area further down for the back a bit yeah this is a large area and the operation was quite a big long inc incision so okay so i will confirm that the diagnosis actually is correct from the ultrasound this is a ventral abdominal hernia 
and uh, this is what is removed necrotic uh, omental fat the normal omental fat is actually very whitish color but this has been on for herniated out for a long time and uh, it has become septic or necrotic uh. and uh, so the surgery was done and as you can see the cat is much better okay so you can send the cat back back to the to, to rest and I will go to the next case which is a schnauzer and so in summary that uh, I would say that during spay about six months ago there was a breakdown in stitches which I guess the owner didn't return to the vet for consultation and just left it as it was and this herniated omental fat got came up more and more until it becomes a very big area as you can see and uh, owner of course was not too happy with it and uh, went back to the first vet who who didn't want to do anything and just referred them to the bigger practice and the bigger practice of course they, they give a quotation of four thousand dollars according to the owner and so it, it was too expensive and uh, it was here in Topaya Vets that Dr. Dan operated yesterday this is, these are the photos yesterday after operation and these are really the aument aumental fat which is already necro necrotic already yeah. so the outcome is excellent the cat should be able to go home soon so after spaying owner should check whether there is any swelling or not on the surgical area and quickly refer to the vet rather than wait six months leading to this situation of uh, necrotic or mental fats which looks very much like of course memory tissues and parts of the memory tissues might have been involved as well so memory tissues and abdominal fat or uh, mental fat were, were probably together in this whole lot uh, infected and uh, necrotic anyway the case is okay now so we should be a good outcome for for her I'll stop now